And Molano, of course, he still has his teammate. What a fantastic race today by Mikkel Bjerg. Timo Kielich, don't do remember that he was fourth yesterday on Nokerberg, although we do have a flat sprint here. And this man, of course, he was already successful this year in the UAE Tour um, in the uh, stage in Dubai, if I recall correctly. Yep, he uh, won a stage over in Dubai, sprinting very, very well. This is a different kettle of fish, though. This is... Uh, this has been a hard race, uh, it's not a bunch sprint and you know it's how much you've uh, left out in the road um, but it doesn't look as if you know any of these riders that are behind the group of five are going to make it uh, and we are going to see some sort of sprint not unless we see some sort of kind of last ditch effort and I think Boss and Hagen will be thinking about it because they'll know the quality of Milano, Oof. they'll know what form he's on at the moment and the only problem is in this front group is Van Dyke. he's been sat on a lot and you know what's he going to do i think it's just a case of he's just trying to save everything he can because he knows he's going to need it to beat milano and i think beer just at the front his job is just to try and you know deliver it as uh, easy as possible for milano to take this victory today i think this is sam watson uh, the rider we saw on the attack yesterday in no he's uh, a handful of seconds behind the leaders these five riders two kilometers to go the names on your screen we have five different nationalities, four different teams, and a monster job today by Mikkel Bjerg if Molano actually finishes it off. But, yeah, with 10 seconds, uh, and that is on Watson probably, there's also no time to play any poker games. No, they can't. They just have to roll through, and I think uh, Bjerg will do that. He'll just uh, commit. The others are starting to think of the finish. You know, the group armor with Watson, if it is, is coming up. You know, quite quickly, but not not enough in this big effort that Sam Watson is doing at the moment. I just uh -huh. think it's going to be a little bit too late. I don't know. It's looking uh, very, very strong what the uh, young man from Leeds is doing right here. He can see them. It's one and a half kilometers left to race. He has done this before. He was pretty strong yesterday, as he was last year in this race. An attack from the peloton. It might be tackle from the horn again, but, but pretty impossible to see from this angle. Mikkel Bjerg, give him an extra piece of pie tonight if he pulls this off together with Molano. They're going for that final kilometre, that flamme rouge with uh, Sam Watson closing in ever, ever so slowly but steadily. This uh, looks like the last effort there for Bjerg. I don't know how much longer he can hold on here, Brian. He's been tremendous, hasn't he? Uh, we're now coming into the last kilometre now and Bjerg just giving everything. He's written well today. He's always been prominent towards the front. Unfortunately for Sam Watson, he isn't going to make it uh, to the front. The effort from uh, Bjerg, but everybody you could see that was trying to save a little bit for this final sprint. Milano is the favourite, but let's see. Yeah, a little too late. It uh, looks like uh, Sam Watson is, um, is stalling there. He is losing sight of the riders in front of him. We're waiting for a shot of the Finnish cameras there for our five leaders. Is it going to be Molano starting the sprint uh, in last wheel? Oh, we have problems there for Tim van Dijk. Mechanical problems there for the man from the Netherlands. We have Evald Borsonhagen. We have Timo Kielich and Molano. The final effort there for Mikkel Bjerg. And then a sprint with four. 300 meters and... Boson Hagen is opening up the sprint with Molano, with Van Dijken, with Timo Kielich, but the power is in the legs of the man from Colombia. He already won in the UAE Tour. He was the fastest, but this is a win, not only for Molano, but also for Mikkel Bjerg. Yeah, as expected, uh, Milano seals victory for UAE uh, team Emirates. Big effort there but from uh, Bjerg there, but I... I was thinking in the run-in that um, as we see the, the rest of the riders coming across the finishing line now, but I was just thinking in the run-in, why is Tim Van Dyke sitting there? And they, he answered the question, he was saving as much energy as possible. When he did go, he tried to surprise with about 300 to go and pulled his foot out. And when he pulled his foot out, that kind of scuppered his chances a little bit. Boston Hagen opened up and it was too big a gear, didn't have the legs in the end. Fastest man win, um, but you know, Tim Van Dyke was banging his handlebars there. Um, but, you know, that was just a little bit of a, a mistake, pulling his foot out, trying to go on the surprise. But um, I don't think he was ever going to beat Milano.